Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on solving quadratic equations with square roots. So the first two pages I want you to follow along with me, take notes, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did. So take a look at this first question here. It says, how many solutions are there to this first question? Uh, x squared equals 4. Okay, so think about it. How many solutions are there? Is, is there one solution? Are there two solutions? Three solutions? Okay. And the correct answer actually is 2. Okay, because x could be 2 or it could also be negative 2. Because 2 times 2 gives us 4, but also negative 2 times negative 2 also gives us 4. So let's say we have an equation like this and we want to know that the steps to solve for x. Okay, so the goal is to get the x all by itself. So what you can do is you can take the square root of x squared, okay, which is x. But what you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So you have to take the square root of 4, which is 2. But remember, that can be a positive 2, or it could also be a negative 2. So you can write it like the plus and then a minus a 2, or you can write it as a 2 and then a, a negative 2. Those are the solutions. So take a look at this next box, and it goes over kind of the important rules when it comes when it talks about uh, square roots. So here we have x squared equals k, and k is going to be some value. And the rule is when k is greater than 0, then there's going to be two roots or solutions for x. So let's say, for example, we have x squared uh, is equals 9. Okay, well, 9, of course, is greater than 0. So we could have a solution of x is 3 or x equals negative 3. There's two solutions. Now, this one, the rule states that when k equals 0, there's going to be only one root or one solution, which is 0. So, so think about it. If we have x squared equals 0, the only number that x can be is just 0, right? Uh, because 0 times 0 gives you 0. And then this last one, if you put a star next to it, this is an important one. If k is less than 0, that means there's no real solutions or, or, no, or roots. So let's say, for example, we have x squared equals, uh, say, negative 4, all right? Well, when I take the square root of x squared, we get x, but there's no such thing as the square root of negative 4. All right? There's no number times itself that gives you a negative um, inside of the radical sign. So when you turn the page, and let's try solving these problems. So here we have x squared plus 1 equals 26. So I'm going to first try to get the x squared by itself by uh, taking away 1 from both sides. So that gives us x squared equals 25. And then to solve for x, we're going to square root both sides. So that means x is going to equal plus or minus 5. All right, let's try this one. This one, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So that gives us 2x squared equals 200. And then the next step, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So now we have x squared equals 100. Now we need to square root both sides. And the square root of 100 is 10 or negative 10. And there's our two, our two solutions. Again, if I plug in a 10 here, okay, 10 squared is 100 times 2 is 200 minus 1 is 199. If I plugged in negative 10, well, negative 10 times negative 10 is 100 times 2 is 200. Take away 1 is 199. All right, so now it's time for you to, to uh, practice some problems. So why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. And you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these practice problems. So inside this first box, it says identify the number of roots or solutions of each equation. Okay, so again, this goes back to the whole x squared equals k. So again, when k is greater than 1, we know there's going to be two solutions. When k equals 0, we know there's one solution. And when k is less than 1, we know there's going to be no solutions. So this first one, there's going to be uh, two solutions, right? Because uh, the k value is more than 1. Uh, this one, well, I need to take away 3 from both sides first. So that ends up now with x squared equals 0. And because that's a zero, there's only one solution. Here we have a k value that's negative. So that means it's going to be no solutions. 
And then here I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And when I do that, I get x squared equals 9. And again, because that is greater than 1, we know for a fact that there's going to be two solutions. All right, finally, you had to now solve for x. So this one's pretty straightforward. We take the square root of both sides, and we get x equals plus or minus 11. So again, it could be positive 11 or negative 11. Here I need to first subtract 7 from both sides. And we get x squared equals 36. And then I take the square root of both sides. And that's going to end up now being x equals plus or minus 6. And lastly, we have 5x squared plus 2 equals 82. So I'm going to take away 2 from both sides. And we get 5x squared equals 80. I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And now we get x squared equals 16. We're running out of space here. Equals 16. Which means when I take the square root of both sides, we're going to get an answer of 4 or negative 4. And there it is. Alright, how'd you do?